Oh my god. Someone told me you could make a soda can explode using nothing but a coil of wire and some electricity. Honestly, it sounds like something straight out of a cartoon. So naturally, we had to try it. The basic idea sounds simple enough, right? The plan is to dump a massive amount of electrical energy into this handmade copper coil all at once. We're talking about enough energy to be lethal, discharged in just a fraction of a second. This is not your average wall outlet. The power is coming from this giant bank of capacitors. You can think of them like batteries, but instead of a slow, steady drain, they're designed to release all of their energy in one instantaneous, overwhelming burst. Today, we're charging them up to unleash over a thousand joules straight into our coil. To put that in perspective, that's like dropping a bowling ball from the top of a five-story building. Only all of that force will be concentrated into a magnetic pulse lasting just microseconds. And it probably goes without saying, but safety is our number one priority here. We're dealing with incredibly high voltages and a literal explosion, so we've got our blast shield in place, and we're triggering this whole thing from a very safe distance. When you're trying to make a can rip itself apart, you really don't want to be standing next to it. Okay, the can goes into the coil. We're double-checking all the connections. The capacitors are charged. Time to see if the physics actually works. Everybody's got their hearing protection on because this is gonna be loud. We're clear to fire. Counting down. Three, two, one. Wow, okay. So what just happened? How on earth did a coil of wire and some electricity tear a metal can in half. Well, the easiest way to wrap your head around this is to imagine we created two incredibly powerful magnets, forced them to face each other, and trapped the can in the middle. They repel each other so violently that the can is obliterated in the crossfire. But the coolest part is one of those magnets was the can itself. Here's the science. First, we blasted that huge pulse of current into the copper coil. Anytime you run current through a wire, you get a magnetic field. Because our current was so huge and so fast, it created an enormous, rapidly changing magnetic field inside that coil. Now for the magic, which comes from a principle called Lenz's Law. That powerful, changing magnetic field from the coil actually creates a separate loop of electric current inside the aluminum of the can itself. These are called eddy currents. And what happens when you have an electric current? It creates its own magnetic field. So these eddy currents swirling around the can generate a second magnetic field. And here's the kicker. Lenz's law tells us that this new magnetic field will always oppose the one that created it. The coil's magnetic field pushes inward, while the can's induced field pushes outward. These opposing forces clash with immense power, tearing the aluminum can apart from the inside until it explodes. You really can blow up a soda can with science, and it's even more epic than expected. A truly unforgettable physics demo. If you liked our messy experiments, subscribe and hit the bell. More physics tests are on the way. Thanks for watching.